Alright, so I'm in game. Um, there's not really a whole lot for me to do right now, aside from perhaps a few reputation missions. And if you're a level 60, you know what these are. Um, once you hit the final level of the game, there are multiple factions hey, that introduce one. themselves to you. And what you can do is do daily missions for the, from them, earning gold, points, and reputation. And eventually, if you save up enough points and you earn the, the proper ranks, you can get some pretty sweet stuff. So, since I have nothing better to do right now, I'm going to go do some Ashari R missions, and then I will just, you know, comment on the game as I go through it. Hopefully draw a few of you guys into it. Um, I know a lot of people requested, like, Roblox and other things like that, and Fusion Fall Heroes among them, but I just could not be bothered. So, I'm just going to run through a bunch of these all at once. Uh, yeah. A lot of them are pretty simple. Other ones will send me into some pretty terrible places, but um, for now, I, th I hopefully they're not going to stick me in that Argon Catacombs again because that is a single-player instance, and you have to go in alone. And I'm a bit of a weenie when it comes to solo play, so I don't really Come like doing it. Like me. Fortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be eating that today. But we'll see. Swarms of Bloom Black. Yes. Okay, so there is not a single Argon Catacomb mission today. And as you can see, my character is a Lancer, which is the tank class in the game. The absorption tank. The other tank being a warrior, which is more of an evasive, you know, dodge, not get hit, not get squished tank. Um, but yeah, I prefer the class they can just get in something's face and stay there and be able to take a hit. A lot of people prefer the DPS who can move and run and dodge, and unfortunately with my machine and my gear, I can't do that. So I figured why not just pick a tank class, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so right now, I guess I'm being sent out here to talk to this dude. He's going to have me kill some corpse fiends, I'm pretty sure. Nightmare on my street. You look better than I thought you would. Argonomorph corpse fiends. Alright. So, Archons are the primary villains in the game once you get to, um, <coughs> excuse me, Northern Shara. They're the ones that are invading. You have to kill them. So, that's pretty straightforward, simple, stupid. So, right now, got my little loot gathering buddy. He's a little cute dragon. So, um, I'm gonna see if I can lure a couple pack. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But, here we go. You can see Lancers can pretty much block anything with that big ass shield of theirs. And they do a lot of smashy smashy with their uh, lands. They also have awesome stuff like this. And I don't know why they clipped through me. But hey, they didn't hit me. Two, three, and go. And they're done. Sweet. It's pretty straightforward. The number they have you kill is random each time. It's four, six, eight, something like that. If my frame rate wasn't so terrible on this end right now, I would have probably pulled a whole mob at once and just done it that way, but uh, not gonna happen today. So another mission is sending me out here. You can see the green markers on my little teeny mini map up in the corner. And uh, so I'm just gonna follow those and do them in order. And there are the P oh, there are the NPCs doing battle with. Yeah, that's gonna have to stop. I always do this, even though they like never die and they never get hurt. Oops. Yeah. Spacebar, auto attacks sometimes backfire like that. But hey, I help the uh, NPCs, so now they're not dead. Yay. And the dude I have to talk to is up here. I think I'm going to pause this here because Fraps is a monster when it comes to recording stuff. You can't have too many friends. So what's he going to send me out for today? Argon components. Alright, well, I'm going to swing by the Canavar Citadel next and then I will start killing shit again. So, uh, here we go. Alright, and we're back. And now we're going to start making our way towards Canavar Citadel, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. 
first, though, I'm going to check for some argon components. Because there is occasionally- oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, that's a good guy. Doing battle with a bad guy. Yeesh. That scared the crap out of me. It's not something you want to see, a terrorist standing right in your way. But, um, yeah, that's actually a good bam. So... Yeah, there's- oh, there are destroyed argon components out here. I will take those. Thank you very much. Yoink! I just need four more of those, and unfortunately they only give me three here. So that means I'm going to find another cluster of these later on. Farther into enemy territory. But if I can sneak around... Yeah, I kind of play a little sneaky. If I can help it. <laughs> unfortunately there are no stealth skills, skills in the game, so I'm kind of stuck. But... Usually everything has a set aggro range, and if you skirt around it, they don't touch you. So, alright. I've gotten three of those. Let's go speak with Drokir and Vikanol. I'm not even going to pretend to know if I can pronounce those names right. Amani usually have uh, very strange names. That's alright, because Amani are badass. Um, yeah, like I said, the races in the game are very, very interesting. Um, there's your standard humans, there's your elves, there's your Christonics, which are like... I hate to say it, but they're pretty much called demon sluts, because they kind of are. Um, then there are your Amon, which are like dragon people. As you can see, they've got horns and all this cool-ass stuff going on. Scales. That's what my Lancer is, is an Amani female. Um, there's also the Alin, which are creepy little cat girls, Nekos, or whatever you want to call them. And then there are the Popori, which are freaking adorable, chubby ass, uh, this little guy right here. He's a Popori. You can play these. No joke. They're freaking awesome. Like, 80% of my guild mains Popori. Um, oh, and like I said, there are also the Baraka. I don't think there are any NPCs out here for me to poke, but, um, they're a very interesting race, too. You don't get enough love in the game, so if you don't care who or what you're playing, Feel free to play a Baraka, because they are badass. So I'm going to scoot on over to... Report to... Oh, I have to deliver emergency rations. And it's to a new area. Hmm. So I'm going to scoot on over this way. And dodge those giants, because those are very mean. I really... Oh god! Saw the targeting a circle of death. Oh, that's no bueno. That's the next camp over. Okay. Yeah, there's also an element of this game called BAMS. It stands for Big Ass Monsters. That's pretty much what they call them. And as you can see, they are big ass monsters. And they are typically party bosses, but a particularly oh, skilled player good. can That's solo them. Quiet. It's fun. It's awesome. Some classes are easier to solo BAMS than others, Lancers being one of them because they can pretty much lock take the hits, and they have a self-heal. It's a weak self-heal, but it still does the job. Um, fortunately, these guys kind of are busy running laps around the battlefield, so I can just sneak by. Um, I'm on my way now to drop off food for somebody somewhere. It's the guy I'm thinking of. I'm gonna be a little- oh, it's this chick. Aha! I was wondering why she was standing out here all by herself. Need my help? So, she's getting her rations for the day. And... In Peril Cavern. Okay. I know where that is, but for now... Kelba Claw Guards. These little guys. They're adorable. But they're also very mean. So let's see if I can do a chain leash. There we go. Aha! That is one of my favorite combos right there. Chain leash into a shield dash, or a charging lunge, and then follow it up with a wallop. Because that is one of the big ouchy making moves. Yeah. I need you. Die. And they die in one hit. Um, I also need to activate these doohickeys and collect... Can I... Oh, yeah, there we go. Just summon a bunch of monsters that I have to brutally murder. Oh! Just like that. Oh, there's one left. Spoiler. Oh, he's dealt with. Now to find... Oh, I don't think so, buddy. 
that was not what I meant to do. But that is um, another facet of the Lancer, is that they can pull aggro with shouts. And that, um, yeah, pretty much piss the monsters off to the point that they focus on you and not your buddies. And that is really the role of a tank, if you know anything about MMOs. Which is to hold the attention of the boss for prolonged periods of time while your buddies wail on it and not die. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Oh, I got all my plating. I need more argon components. Which are around here somewhere. <clears throat> Essentially, we're in a big battlefield and we're just looting leftover parts so that they can make more weapons, but I can't find them. Hmm. On the other hand, I can just do this. And can tell me on my map where I'm supposed to go. And this one looks promising. Skirting the bams, because those things are very nasty. I can solo them. Almost. Well, I can, but it's just not pretty. Uh, there should be argon components around here. There we go. No, that's siege weapon. Depending on the day, they'll have you find siege weapon pieces or argon pieces. And it seems somebody was already through here stealing argon components. Oh! There's another NPC being killed by the guys that I need to kill anyway. Everybody gets a free ride. Okay, no. That's the only downside to- oh no you don't buddy. Did I get them all? Yeah. Okay. And I'll pick that up. And look for some more argon components. Wow, there's like none out here today. Alright, well. Even more argon component. I need to head out towards uh, the fella way up in the north part of the map. And I'll be pausing this shortly just to break up the file size because, oh my gosh, it's huge. So, I will pause right now and be right back in a second. Okay, I'm back, I think. Now I've got a really weird red number in the corner of my screen and I hope to god that this does not have to do with... Um... That doesn't show up in my game or my video because I'll be kind of pissed if it is. <laughs> I'm still figuring out fraps. Um... Oh man, it's siege weapons. I don't need siege weapons. Where's all the stuff? Alright, well I'll find some on my way back. It's basically... When it comes to rep missions, they have you running all over Hell in Creation, depending on who you're working for at the time. And Charrier is notorious for sending me all over Canavar, so... I usually try and do everything linear, you know, up from south to north, if I can, just to save on time. It's already 8.30, according to my game time, which means Nexus in half an hour, or Nexus recruiting, rather. That's a whole other thing that I don't think I'll ever be able to record successfully until I get a higher end gaming rig because, um, yeah, I have to crank down my graphics to their absolute bare minimum just to survive, let alone with, um, hypercam recording, or fraps in this case. Um, so yeah, um, although my friend Jake already did record an Axis run once and he did a far better job of it and has a beast of a machine, so. Yeah. Alright, I'm dropping off the last thingy off food to this guy. Battle alongside us. Some food to keep you in the fight. Enjoy. Now I get to go back and triumphantly say, hey, I gave all the food away. So, hopefully on my way back, I will find another Archon component, because I kind of need one. You know, of one spot there might be one. But now I'm just trying to dodge all these Argons, because I'm just in no mood to kick ass right now. I mean, I know I'm a badass, but I just want to get my gold and get this out of the way. This was more of a test just to see if I could adjust the microphone settings on fraps, which I can! Now I don't have that weird lisp thingy when I use S's, hopefully. It was something in Windows that I had to tweak. Um, so yeah, if anyone has problems with that, ask me. I'll try and remember what I did to let you know to help you out too, because yeah, that was the one reason I didn't use fraps was because of the fact that it just butchered the audio quality from the microphone and I that was just not tolerable. So um 
Yeah. Alright, so now I'm getting the lengthy run back home. Or not back home, but back to my turning waypoints. And I'm looking for freaking Argon components here. Siege weapon, siege weapon. Is that an Argon? Nope. Nothing there. Great. Cool. So there's one other way I can probably find one. And that is... If my map is accurate today. Should be coming up on one right... Oh, no, buddy. Don't want to fight you. Aha! Found you. Yes. That's what I needed. Bing. There we go. So now I get to run back. Hopefully not get... Oh. Oh. Yep, they're fighting bams. Those things are a hell of a rush to fight. Um, but yeah, uh, it's definitely not as easy as Fusion Fall. There is a lot of skill that goes into playing this game, and it takes a while to get used to. If you're used to something like Fusion Fall, where you can just hold down a button and point in the same general direction, it's not going to work. You have to dodge and aim and block, and, you know, it's, it's, if you've ever watched any trailers of Terra, like if you look at the Terra launch trailer, a lot of that is in-game footage. It's not doctored up, except for maybe making it look a little prettier, but, you know, um... And those are cute little bams that I would hate to fight. Yep. Hey, buddy. What's up? You're not gonna fight me, I hope. Map says he's passive. <laughs> Orange icons mean passive bams, red icons mean aggressive. So this guy should just stare at me and wiggle his really freaky-ass tongue in my face. So yeah, Smoldering Moloch. He's like a basilisk turtle. I don't know, he's got like fins on it. Eh, it's weird. Creepy. Hell of an underbite too. Anywho. Yeah, enough of distractions for now. Um, yeah. And I'm also, unlike Fusion Fall, this game I don't think is going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I have people following me. I don't think so, buddy. No. Reject it. Now you come here. And you too. That's what you get for screwing with me. Alright. So yeah. Um, unfortunately I can't really comment much on other classes aside from Lancer because my main and my two alts are pretty much Lancers. I have two on another server, a Berserker and a Sorcerer, and they're just... Okay, Berserker kind of clicks for me, but Sorcerer really doesn't. It's just I'm not used to being so squishy and having to run around and dodge stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still Honor Lancer at heart. So I can provide an input on Lancers at least. So let me turn all this in. Battle you can see my compass up. is set for Shariar, so it's upping my rep. Ding. Not a whole lot, but I'm almost revered. There's a bit of game lag just now. Alright, after wa washing with my Wi-Fi stick and uh, showing it who was boss, should be good to go. So, dang. I think I'm going to need two more days worth of all Shariar missions in order to max out to Revered, which is alright. I'm, I'm kind of a complete in that. I've already gotten what I needed from Shariar, which was the component for the Black Panther mount, but I don't know. I like having them all maxed out because I still have a bunch that need maxing out. Um... Oh, these guys again. Yeah, I'll kill you in a second. They just kind of fight mostly out here, so, uh, yeah. Let's turn this in. This one, this mesh and text always makes me laugh. You look like someone in search of a deal. With these, we'll kick the Argons right in the daddy bags. Do Argons even have daddy bags? I don't want to find out. I really don't. I mean, they must procreate somehow, but I, I'm not going to be the one that uh, figures that out. So yeah, here are the Valkyan soldiers fighting the crap out of these- Ah, shoot! Yeah, no. Alright. So yeah, there's a lot of running involved. I probably could have safe haven right back. But I'm lazy. Which makes no sense, because running takes even more effort, but alright. Screw logic. I don't have that. <clears throat> I played Fusion Fall for so many years at, you know, 24 years old. When I, well, when I was 24, it's been two years. So do the math to figure out how old I am. Um, 
Anywho, this is the last mission for Shariar. Let's get this over and done with. Hey, hey, good to see you. And done. So that was my Sharia run for the day. I already did Lesker. Um, do I have any missions left? I have two in progress, which won't happen until Nexus anyway. Uh, daily, so then I have really one... No, my math is fantastic, isn't it? Eight, nine, so I have one more left. I will hop over to Velika and poke the hands of Velika, see what they want me to do today, and uh, get back to you guys then. Um, let me, oh yeah, you can go back and take a rest. And uh, yeah, so this is Terra, basically. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot with it right now well, because I'm level 60 and I'm just kind of Next drink is on puttering around doing basically what 60s do, which is grind rep and grind and nexus and more grinding and gearing up and oh more grinding so yeah leveling up probably would be a lot more spectacular so i think i might record my alts going through the game with maybe a few of my friends provided i can coerce them onto skype while we play um because yeah it'll be a whole lot more fun uh so i will see you guys shortly for whatever my last mission is, just to give you guys another sample of the game. Uh, as I said, this game is gorgeous. If I had my full graphics on, well, first of all, my computer would explode, but if you have full graphics on, it's glorious. But that's the story for another day. I will see you guys later.